Yo, everybody. Bad bitch bets. Today, Whamma Dave, solo. We got Kate out of town. She's the baddest bitch around. And now she's flying on the West Coast. Uh, she'll be texting in her DraftKings lineup a little bit later. But we got a lot of stuff to go over. We got the PFL tonight. We got UFC finale for the Tough House tomorrow. And we got a lot of good bets for you. So let's start right into it, man. Uh, tonight, we're going to go over real quick the PFL main event. Um, you know, I think this PFL card, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's some easy picks, I think, tonight. Uh, we're going to start out with the dog. First fight of the night. We're taking the dog. After that, not so much. But Caesar Fiera, we're taking him straight up as the dog. After that, we're parlaying favorites. Boom, boom, boom. Antonio Carlos Jr., Bubba Jenkins, and Maldiv Kabelov. Right in a row. Just take them all three. You're getting a pretty good line on that. Look, let's see. Plus 333 if you boost it on points bet. And if you're not using points bet, you're crazy. Anyone you know, text them. Tell them to send you a referral code. $300 free bet on points bet again this weekend. Points bet's been treating me great. I've been using them all the time. Um, I don't have any kind of sponsorship, but I'm going to cut this part out because nobody gives a shit about my sponsors. So quick PFL card. I don't know the... Prelims, I didn't really pay too much attention to those. I'm going to watch those, see which horse is shitting. If that horse is looking like he wants to shit and looking tough, I'm going to bet the underdogs on the walkouts on the PFL. It should be fun. Um, you got Rough and Rowdy tonight. I'm going to watch that. I wish someone would put a line out on Rough and Rowdy. Um, they're in West Virginia, and there's a, just a crazy amount of trash going on. Everyone loves it. They don't even know they're getting made fun of. It's great. So I'm going to give you my drafting lineup. I know it's not like Bad Bitch Cage. She's winning these things all the time. I still do pretty good with the bets, so let's try to hit one of these drafting lineups. I mean, I, I hit these five-team parlays all the time. Why can't I hit a drafting lineup? So I'm going to start off. Uh, I got Truman over Alvy. Then we got Stewart, Tepatani, Murdov, Battle, and we're going to end out. We're going to take Kate's tip this week. We're taking the main event. I got Barbosa in the main event. So that's going to score us a lot of points up and down through that whole card. Uh, it's going to be a fun one to watch. I put a little side one on with some some wild long shots. If that one hits, I'm going to brag to you. I'm not going to tell it to you right now because it's crazy. All right, we reached the deadline, folks. Uh, Bad Bitch Kate did not get her DraftKings lineup into me in time. So I'm just going to guess what she would have bet. This is my best guess of what Bad Bitch Kate would have put on her DraftKings. Now... Is it my DraftKings? Maybe I'd put this one in. Who knows? Okay, we're going to go Turcos, Sassabante, Rodriguez, Battle, LV, and JJ Aldrich. That's what bad bitch bets are for this week. It's not my fault she doesn't have service. What can I do? I'm just Wayne Dave here trying to make people money. If this one hits, remember, who brought it to you? So I want to go over this UFC first fight of the night. It's crazy to me. Mana Martinez. He loses his contender series fight. Dana White makes a trip out to Houston for a Dana White looking for a fight. Sees this guy win a little championship at the local circuit over there. Gives him a shot. Let's him come back into the UFC. Let's him fight an old guy. Sets this guy up for success. I made a short about it earlier. You've seen it all over uh, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. You've seen it already. But listen, this guy is set up to succeed. Dana White loves this guy. He's given him every chance in the book. He comes in after Dana White goes out on a limb for him. Don't forget, one more time. Loses his contender series. Dana sees him on looking for a fight. He picks him back up. Then this guy disgraces the UFC with the one thing you can't do in the UFC, which is miss weight by four pounds. Now, last time I saw him, he's a minus 350 underdog. That's not going to cut it, my man. We're going to be taking the old man, Guido Canetti. We're taking him big because you know if this guy comes in four pounds overweight, there is not a good future for him. Dana White is pissed. It doesn't matter if he wins. 
he already went out on a limb. It's not happening again. Let's take the old guy, make a little bit of money on it. I mean, put one unit on it. Just have some fun for the opening fight of the night. It's Saturday. We've been waiting for this card all week. Let's have some fun. Real quick thought. I know on Sunday night you got nothing to watch, and you're going to be tuning in to Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley. What a mind fuck that fight is. I can't decide what to do on this thing. You got Tyron Woodley as an underdog coming in to fight Jake Paul, YouTube Disney shithead. What do you do with this one? It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. You got high level, tough as nails, Tyron Woodley fighting this dude. Obviously, he's training really hard. He's got the best of the best. He knows how to box. He's coming off, and you know everybody in this space secretly wants him to win. And I don't know, man. I think Tyron might secretly want this dude to win. I know it might not be a hot take at this point, but if Tyron Woodley, you got your buddy cashing in millions of dollars with losing to uh, Jake Paul. You're going to hit cash in millions of dollars losing to Jake Paul. That means you set your next buddy up to cash in millions of dollars losing to Jake Paul. If you go in there and you start your like I, everyone thinks that Tyron Woodley can. I don't care if he's old. I don't care if he's lost his last couple. He's a banger. He can slam punches in on people. And you got to imagine he wants to make everybody the money. You're almost 40 years old. Your UFC career is over. You got your whole life to make some more bad choices, man. You don't need to win this fight. I mean, is your legacy tarnished? You're the UFC champ. Who gives a shit? Get paid. Get your friends paid. Get your camp paid. Get everybody paid. I say right now, no one bet on this Jake Paul, Tyron Woodley fight. Buy the pay-per-view. Support these fighters. They're finally getting paid, but do not bet on it. Because Tyron Woodley, does he have the power to knock him out? Yes. Can he not beat the shit out of him in any other situation? Yes. Now, does everything make sense for Jake Paul to win and get catapulted into the fucking stratosphere at this fight? I'm saying yes. Fuck him, right? I'm drinking Bush Light. I'm not betting on the fight.